Hey you guys, it's Max and Alicia and we are here today using the crock pot. All right, you guys, this is gonna be a great recipe for you if you're busy during the day, you're juggling kids, work, all that kind of stuff, and you need something that's warm at night when you get home, right when you walk in the door. Crock pot recipes are perfect for this. And today, I've challenged Alicia to come up with a max approved recipe, as always, that's not only nutritious, but tastes good. So I came up with a slow cooker Italian pot roast. And I'm calling it Italian pot roast because we're gonna use some oregano and crushed tomatoes. Bellissimo! We start with a veggie base, one onion, four cloves of garlic, and four carrots. Give everything a coarse chop and put it in the bottom of the crock pot. Carrots, yum. And you know, carrots are a fantastic, slow burning carbohydrate source. So when you're looking to burn fat, we're cutting out a lot of these hyper processed foods like the flours and the sugars. Okay, so we can get that nice, even burn, slow digesting into the blood so it won't cause that sugar spike. Um, so you stay in fat burning mode. Carrots fit the bill. Now we'll season the veggies with a little salt and pepper, one teaspoon of dried oregano, and a couple pinches of crushed red pepper flake. If you don't like the heat, don't use as much. And now the real star ingredient of this recipe, grass-fed beef. And you know you guys, completely different animal than that conventional feedlot beef that most people think are is really unhealthy. Well, guess what? That stuff is. Grass-fed beef, they're happy animals. They're free to roam the land and they eat the grass like they should. You're gonna get omega-3 benefits from that and a good quality protein source. And I've got about four and a half pounds of grass-fed chuck roast. Grass-fed beef is really lean, but if there's any excess fat along the outside, you can certainly trim that off. We'll just season this up with some salt and pepper. All right, we've seasoned it. Now, Alicia, what do we do next? Do we cut it up? Nope, you just put it in the crock pot. Super easy. We'll add half a cup of beef stock and one cup of crushed tomatoes right on top of the meat. And now our part is done and it's time for the crock pot to do its work. We're gonna cook this on low for six hours. Here's the finished product, you guys. Slow cooker Italian pot roast. Alicia, thank you so much. High five right there. High five. For this awesome recipe, you guys. We hope you enjoyed it. Check it out, give it a shot. Let us know what you think. Mm -hmm.